Very good afternoon all of you. All are ready for doing computer network. Previous year's question from 2023. We will start all the previous year's question. You can see 11th March. After that we will do the 15th March also. Lots of questions are coming from computer networking. More than 15 questions from last few years they are asking. So we will do this all 2022 also as much as possible I will try to cover. So all are ready for that? Yes, we are going to cover computer networking through the previous year's question here. So I hope everyone is excited, very much excited all are. All are excited? Yes very good very good so what you can do you can share with your friends that yes this class is going on so that they can also join and they can also do the class because it will be ultimately helpful to everyone everyone you can share it share with your friend tell them to join quickly so that their networking will be done mostly students are being getting confused getting means a little bit scared about networking where networking i am not able to do but networking is the very much important subject scoring area and important area because so many questions more than 10 questions 15 to 17 questions are coming on networking so we need to do it there is no other way without networking you cannot survive ultimately if you want to survive here yeah, then you have to learn networking yes yes cholo cholo so let's start here here i can see everyone is present so definitely we can start now actually nowadays i am coming little bit early because of my daughter is coming at 4 pm she will come back to 4 pm so that's why i am coming quickly so that within 4 pm i can end the session that is our target so let's do let's see how much we can do here okay so here uh, all of you this is already you can see your revision is i hope already done from this slide that huh. <laughs> so here uh, this is application layer presentation layer session layer uh, all this whatever going on main functionalities so i am going to ask you question on this layer because first of all the layer are very very important if you are not being layer then your under means then your networking is not covered networking layers are very very important application layer session layer and presentation layer together it's called in tcp application layer and the session layer uh, is uh, a transport layer is transport itself network is network itself Data link and physical together is called network interface. Actually in VSI layer there are 7 layers and in TCP IP there are 4 layers. Main functionalities are here. You can go through these main functionalities because just now I am going to ask you those questions. That is coming on layers. The layers are very important. All are ready for the question. First we will start with the layers question. After that we will go to the next topic. So here this is user application here encryption and decryption is the main part here end to end connection established end connection between the host. Transport layer is doing this error handling here and uh, next one is the network layer. Network layer is doing working on IP address. Data link layer is working on MAC address or physical address and physical ad layer is means physical devices. And here are the different devices from this here devices also questions are coming. Repeater, hub, breed, bridge, switch, router, gateway. Repeater means here actually regenerating signal. When signal is strength is getting low then it is going to regenerate the signal. That is called the repeater. Hub means it is multi port repeater. Bridge is that where it is adding something extra with the MAC address destination using the MAC address. Switch is that there will be buffer will be there and the error checking is also there in the switch. That is the extra advantage. Router is working on network layer and router is for one network to another network. This transfer is of packet is going on. 
गेटवे इज ऑल्सो इन नेटवर्क लेयर वेन द टू डिफरेंट आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ नेटवर्क आर देयर देन एक्चुअली गेट वे इज वर्किंग सो नाउ लेट्स डू द क्वेश्चन एंड हेयर इज अनदर टर्मिनोलॉजी दैट इज कॉल्ड हॉप टू हॉप होस्ट टू होस्ट एंड एंड टू एंड very very important hop to hop means node to node that is using mac address that is physical address and data link layer it's working host to host means ip address it is the network layer one host to another host end to end it is the top part of transport layer in the transport layer the end to end is going on and here we are doing ip address plus port number means exactly from your whatsapp to my whatsapp when it is delivering that is actually using ip address plus port number and that is the task of transport layer that is end to end now do the question your first question in front of you do the question quickly first we will revise all the layer with the question then i will go for the um, means your 2023 question paper then i will go to that paper do this quickly do this okay answers are coming yes option 4 is the correct answer definitely because presentation layer encryption is going on on presentation layer network layer routing is going on and data link layer is framing and transport layer is connection control so that's why you can see this is your correct answer very good everyone is doing correct that's good that's good here okay so now the next one so yes you all did the correct one yes so now do the next one next one is the again physical layer data link layer network layer presentation layer do it quickly this is the 2022 question 2022 Okay, answers are coming here. Some students are telling three. Some students are telling four. So answer will be here. Now you are confused. Now most of you are confused. Three, two, four. So many answers are coming. So many answers are coming. Four is the correct answer here. What is going on? Routing. Routing of the signal divided here. So where the routing is going on? Routing is going on in network layer. Network layer will be routing. Now you are thinking that, ma'am, network layer to not matching here. The routing is there, but C should be with one. Yes, C is one. So C is with one. That is there. So here, this is so definitely not your answer. This is definitely not your answer. Option three or option four. There is only C with one, right? now you have to check the next one next one is presentation layer what is the work of presentation layer translating presentation is working on semantic translation and your encryption decryption these all are the part of presentation layer so its translating is going on in this layer and from this question also you can till now you can make your short note i will suggest you definitely make your short note from this question only if you are writing the answer of the question okay physical layer this is given data link layer this is given then also your two marks will be confirmed they are asking always question from the layer from the question on, only write it down then it will be good for you physical layer is working on bit right bit voltage electronic signal data data rate bit rate that is in physical layer so this will be your answer and data link layer is going on here the error detection correction synchronization everything is going on in data link layer so your answer will be option 4 now the next one is this one do this one this is 2021 question so in 2021 they asks that data link layer network layer transport layer session layer end to end token management billing information piggy backing note it down note it down everyone note down this 
uh, questions that will be good for you and those who are watching till now and you did not click on like button you can click right because if it definitely you are going to like this class also before your exam this class will be definitely helpful to you as my all classes are helpful to you right yes option 4 is the correct answer here again the end to end end to end which layer is end to end that is your transport layer transport layer is end to end so definitely this one and after that the session layer what is going on in session layer token management is the part of session layer so token management is here other than that piggy piggy backing piggy backing is going on actually in data link layer and the here other the network layer is producing the billing information so answer will be this one now do this one here they give I, they give some protocol and with the protocol you need to match so match the protocol here serial line ip border gateway user data protocol simple network management yes here answer will be option 2 is the correct answer all of you are correct here very good very good all of you so ultimately here these are the questions so do this one also next question do this one physical layer transport layer application layer and presentation layer do this one yes here all of you are giving correct answer very good very good everyone this is again the token management and all so okay all your revision is done now so i can go to the questions now now we will do the 2023 question paper okay this is your very very important part that we cover after that now let's go for the 2023 paper let's do it Chalo. so in 2023 11th march paper because there are two paper one is 11th march another is 15th march so 11th march paper first question is this one do the question an organization is granted the block this that 16 administrator want to create 1024 subnet then find the number of addresses of each subnet Here we have started from 2023 until I, we will complete as much as possible all the previous years question one by one we will cover. So do it quickly. Uh, if you are quick then your more solution will be done. Try to do it quickly. Yes answers are coming. Answers are coming I can see. Answer answer. Okay, answers are coming. Yes, option 4 is the correct answer because why 130.56.0.0 here 16 bit is already allocated for net ID. Means from here and here this 16 bit is already allocated for net ID. Now from the remaining 16 bit I need to borrow. How many bits I need to borrow for 1024 means 2 to the power 10 is 1024. So I need to borrow 10 bit for the subnet. For creating subnet I need to borrow 10 bit. Now out of this 16 bit if I am borrowing 10 bit now 6 bit is remaining. This 6 bit is actually my host bit. 
right so here it is asking how many addresses per subnet you can create you can create using this 6 bit 2 to the power 6 that is 64 addresses you can create here and that's why your answer will be here 64 64 will be your answer okay now the next one do this one this was the comprehension type question uh, on 2023 they asked the subnetting comprehension type question and this comprehension type question 5 into 2 10 marks was there in this question 10 marks was there so this is we are solving now find the subnet prefix what will be the prefix for this subnet Answer, answer quickly, quickly tell me the answer. Yes, answers are coming because prefix means from where you are starting. This is your prefix because this is your fixed part. So that's why your prefix will be 130.56. That is your prefix. All of you are correct. Now the next one, find the first and the last address of the first subnet first and the last address of the first subnet very carefully read the question and do it first and the last subnet of the first subnet what will be the answer and how to do it i will explain but try it after that i will explain How to do first and last subnet of the first and last address of the first subnet? What will be the answer? Okay, answers are coming. Yes, option B is the correct answer. Now think it how to do it. See that here we are creating 1024 subnet, right? 1024 subnet. How we are creating? By using, by borrowing 10 bit. So what will be the combination of the first to last? That is 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0, 2, 3. I need to make this much number. These are the all subnet. So first one is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 this is your first subnet and what is your last subnet last subnet is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this is your last subnet actually this is number 0 and this is your 1 0 2 3 in this way only you will get the first subnet and last subnet combination in between there are all combinations 0 0 0 0 here it will be 1 then 1 0 then 1 1 in that way you will get total combination now how to get the first address and last address so from here if i am taking this number that was this one 130.56.0.0 from here this is the fixed i cannot check this one i cannot do changes now from here all 8 bit I took 10 bit means from here all these 8 bit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. These all 8 bit are 0. After that next 2 bit is also 0. Because this is your total 10 bit allocated for your subnet part. That is we borrow. Now remaining remaining 6 bit I can do the combination for the host that is for the address. So what will be the first address 1 2 3 4 5 6 bit 0 this is my first address and what will be my last address last address will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 this 6 are 1 and remaining will be as it is the remaining part will be there will be no change in the remaining part. 
that is remaining will be same 130.56 point all this zero 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 0 and then 1 2 so ultimately what is this number this is zero and what is this number zero after that all this one means what is this number this is actually 63 and that's why your first address is 130.56.0.53 because this is what this is also 0 so 0, 0.0 and this is what 0 0.63 and that's why your answer will be 130.56 130.56.0.63 0 in this way you need to make the combination and that is the question here if they are asking for the next question Next question is asking you the last address of the last subnet. What will be the first and the last address of the last subnet? What will be the answer? Sixty-three. It's not sixty-four. Six, six, six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, six one. One, two, four, eight, sixteen. 32 if you are adding this all number it is actually 63 it's not 64 when it is coming here then it is 64 this is 6 bit not 7 bit 7 bit means it will be 64 there are 6 bit very careful we are starting with 0 right this is 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 4 2 to the power 5 here will be 2 to the power 6 so 6 bit means 0 to 5 right don't do mistake don't do mistake very carefully now tell me what will be the answer for this one find the first and the last address of the last subnet what will be the answer for this Answer, answer. Just now I told how to do the last subnet. Do the last subnet and tell me the answer. And if you forgot to click on like button, try to click on like button because when you click on like button, then uh, YouTube will be able to understand, okay, the class is going on fine. Then other students will get the notification. They will also come to the class. So do you don't want to help me and don't want to help YouTube to understand okay the class is going on fine. Huh? So click on like button you can click on that so that YouTube algorithm can understand okay students are like okay. So yes here your answer will be this one. So what will be how to do the last one last one means here 130.56 that is same after that I have to take last one means last all one right so one two three four five six seven eight and then one two so all these ten bit are one that is your subnet part this is your subnet part right after that i have to take all zero for the host bit six six bit are zero so that's why this six bit zero one two three four five six so what is this number what is this number? 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Here it will be no space. Here I am writing 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. This is 1, this is 1. After that all zeros. So what is this number? This number is 192. And what will be the next number? next number will be your last address what will be the last address last address will be 130 then 56 then all 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and after that this 2 1 then only these are 10 1 after that there are 6 6 1 again because last host means these are also 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 
दिस आर योर होस्ट बीट होस्ट बीट आर ऑल्सो वन नाउ बिकॉज आई एम डूइंग द लास्ट होस्ट दिस इज योर फास्ट होस्ट दिस आर योर होस्ट बीट ओके सो वट इज दिस नंबर दिस इज ऑल वन मीन्स ऑलवेज दिस इज टू फिफ्टी फाइव दिस ऑल वन मीन्स दिस इज योर टू फिफ्टी फाइव दैट्स वाई योर आंसर विल बी दिस वन दिस वन एंड दिस वन इज द करेक्ट आंसर बिकॉज हे आर ऑल्सो ऑल वन राइट वाई दिस इज टू फिफ्टी फाइव वन थर्टी पॉइंट फिफ्टी सिक्स ऑल वन मीन्स दिस इज ऑल्सो टू फिफ्टी फाइव एंड फ्रॉम हे आर वी गॉट वन नाइंटी टू एंड दिस इज वन थर्टी फाइव फिफ्टी सिक्स ऑल वन मीन्स दिस इज टू फिफ्टी फाइव एंड आफ्टर दैट अगेन ऑल वन मीन्स दिस इज ऑल्सो टू फिफ्टी फाइव दैट्स वाई योर आंसर इज दिस वन क्लियर क्लियर You are unable to get this link, Surajit Kormukar. Paging and uh, dick scheduling. Paging and dick scheduling. Okay, I'm giving here. Clear. Okay, now do the next. this was the paging this was dick scheduling you can click on the link now only this is paging this is paging and another link i provide that is fork this is fork this is the fork okay and another fork so save for later or watch later like that way you can click on this link theek hai like this way you can click theek hai okay yes ma'am after the class end the chat is not soon okay do it one thing that click on that and do it watch later watch for later save for later like that you can you can uh, save right there is in the youtube there is the facility that if you click on link then there is the watch list you can click on the watch list so click on that or make a personal playlist and they are save it so that it will be there so that later you can watch okay yes all of you are giving here answer but your answer is wrong see that here actually all of you are telling option 2 because and because you memorize it because you memorize it and all of you are doing option 2 but it is wrong because in this question the question was the answer was wrong all these answer are actually wrong it is asking you find the subnet subnet means all bit are all bit should be your one all net bit one that is called the all net and all subnet bit are one remember that all net bit and subnet bit one that is called the mask so how many net bit was there there was 16 bit was net bit plus 10 bit was subnet bit right so how i will do 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 first eight bit again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 next eight bit these are the total 16 bit for your net part after that next 10 bit so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 these all the 10 bit are for subnet all are one and after that remaining are zero remaining are zero that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is zero so ultimately correct answer will be what this is 255 Point two fifty five, point two fifty five, point one ninety two. This is the correct answer. In the any of the option are not correct. All are wrong, and that's why they drop the question also. I challenge this question. I told told my student to challenge the question. They challenge it, 
and I submit the document also. I solve this question also at the time and they drop the question because this is wrong one. Okay, so don't do, don't do wrong thing. It is the, it is correct answer is this one. Clear? Clear? Yes? By looking 192 you give the answer. No, by looking 192 you give the answer but these are remaining part are wrong. Remaining part are wrong. Okay? Got it? Take care. Chalo. Now the next one. Do the next one. So these are the all five question but we did all the five question was there on networking. So all five question I hope it's clear to everyone. Now do this one. And now do this one. My WhatsApp number is 8697365460. You can WhatsApp me. If you are in, uh, if you want to ask anything, then you can WhatsApp me. Please don't call me unnecessarily. WhatsApp me, I will reply. Take care. Now do this one. Yes, answers are coming. Very good. Ethernet is here. Ethernet address means it is actually MAC address. Ethernet address is always how much just you need to convert in binary to decimal and you can do the answer. Nothing else. Binary to decimal then also you have to be little bit careful. It is not exactly binary to decimal. You have to divide it to 4, 4 bit. The last first one 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 you need to divide it into first 4 bit then the next 4 bit because these are the hexadecimal you need to convert in hexadecimal that's why this is 5 and next one is a same way you have to divide this 4 bit and 4 bit same way you have to divide 4 bit 4 bit again 4 bit 4 bit always divide by 4 4 hexa not the binary okay these are hexa don't do the mistake these all are the hexa 4444 four, 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 you have to divide and you need to get the answer. Hexa is always taking 4 bit. That's why 4 bit 4 bit you have to divide. Clear? Clear? Why it is the answer and how to do? This is called the MAC address. Normally sometimes students are doing mistake by changing it into binary number. So don't change it into binary number. Now it is a question. You can see the question here. Uh, as a numerical I am coming uh, do it do it do it do it quickly do it after that we will go do this one a computer has a 10 mbps network to regulate by the token back bucket and the token bucket filled with the rate of 2 mbps it initially filled the capacity with 16 megabit what is the maximum duration of the computer can transmit the full of 10 mbps answers are coming i can see yes how to do the answer here you can see already i shown the answer also so the token bucket, what is the token bucket? Token bucket, the algorithm, what we are using for the packet switching. Okay, packet switching and telecommunication network. It used to check the data transmission and the data packet when the data flow is going on. So here in the question, what is given? The new token are added in the rate of bit by second, that is 2 Mbps given. Capacity of the token bucket was given 16 mega, 16 MB, that is 16 MB bit. Now maximum possible transmission will be 10 MBPS. So maximum burst time will be B divided by M minus R. So it was 16 divided by M is that this one M, that is 10 minus R means rate of bit, that is 10 minus 2. So that's why your answer will be here 
10 to second so remember this formula by this formula you can solve the question this is the formula to solve the question just you need to put the value and you can solve the question okay so that's why your answer will be here option 2 is the correct answer so do the next one next one is here you can see the standard ethernet transmit rate is this one and assume that the length of the medium is this size of the frame is this the propagation speed of the signal and the cable is this now calculate the transmission delay and the propagation delay here in this question some problem is there do it after that i am telling some problem is there in this question that time i did not check this time we have to check all the hundred question everyone definitely check everything carefully very carefully although we challenge lots of question yet last last exam but still this question anyhow it's missed so here actually if you are solving in this way transmission delay will be packet by bandwidth so packet by bandwidth means packet size means 512 byte and bandwidth is 10 mbps so mbps whenever i am changing then 10 into 10 to the power 6 right so byte means byte you have to convert to bit that is 512 multiply into 8 but they did not change this into bit ultimately if they are giving question in 512 bit then your answer will match but they provide in question 512 byte according to 512 byte answer will not match if it is bit then the answer will match otherwise answer is not matching for the transmission delay propagation delay answer is matching that is distance by velocity so distance is 2500 and velocity is 2 multiply into 10 to the power 8 so that's why your answer is coming 12.5 microsecond this is correct but this one is not correct they did a mistake here here the answer question this one should be bit in the question they provided byte and that's why half of the answer will match here this answer is matching but this answer will not match this is not match okay remember it whenever the byte is there you have to multiply with 8 okay you have to convert in bit because always we have to convert in a same unit byte with the mbps we cannot convert small b means always bit and capital b means always byte okay so capital b and small b both are not same both are not same that's why Propagation delay distance multiply speed not distance by speed. Nila distance multiply speed not distance divide by speed not multiply. Distance by velocity not multiplication Nila. Okay. Thick hai. So that's why your answer is this one. The transmission here the this is a problem here. Okay. Chalo, but you need to learn the correct thing correct thing is this correct answer will be this one this is the correct answer always learn the correct thing sometimes they are doing mistake okay now do this question this was a question on router it was little bit lengthy question means big story is here but from the story ultimately how to do the question and how to get the answer i will explain you read it try it after that I will explain.
okay so here you are giving the answer but see that all of you are giving the answer answer is two that is the correct answer how to understand the question see that consider consider two host p and q are connected through a router r the maximum transfer unit mtu value of the link between p and r is 1500 byte okay and between r and q is 820 bytes this is given now tcp segment size is 1400 byte that is also given to me from p to q through r okay with the ip identification value this is the it ip identification value is given to you now ip header is 20 byte this information also given now further the packet is allowed to fragment that don't fragment flag ip not set means you can fragment it whenever don't fragment set is to 1 means you cannot fragment it that is either you have to send the total or you cannot break it but here the permission is there you can break it now what are the true here so first option is given two fragments are created of datagram size carrying the second fragment is 620 so i have to calculate it ki what will be the answer of this fragment so how to calculate the tcp segment size was given 1400 now packet size means actually segment size per the plus the header size okay now the thing is that the first size how i can do now 1400 it is my total so 1400 can i divide into two part because your maximum size was given you can see the maximum size was given here that i can do that 8400 between this q is 820 byte this was given to me okay so this 820 byte how i can get that is actually 800 plus 20 bit header in this way only it is possible so if i am taking first one is 800 so the next one will be what 1400 minus 800 that's why that is 600 so if the first one is this one then the next one is 600 So six hundred plus your header twenty means it is six hundred twenty. That's why the next one will be six hundred twenty. So first fragment is eight hundred twenty, and second fragment will be six hundred twenty. So I get the answer here. So that's why your option one is correct. Two fragment are created, and the size of the six fragment is six twenty. That's it, correct one. Now option B is telling that. if the second fragment is lost then r resend the fragment with ip identification number this is wrong because if something is lost here what is going on the network layer is sending the total packet after that it is coming to the next layer and in the next layer that is the transport layer is breaking into fragment theek hai now how the network layer will understand ki which fragment is there now the network layer will understand that which fragment will be network layer cannot understand right ki in which fragment there is the problem so that's why network layer what it is doing it is sending the total packet if there is any loss it will resend one packet and and fragmentation occurs again and again because it will send the total packet after that it will come to the transport layer in the transport layer it will break again so that's why this option 2 option b is wrong only fragment it is not sending option c if the second fragment lost then ip required to resend the entire tcp segment this is correct one option d tcp destination port can be determined by the analyzing the second fragment only that is wrong because destination different destination address is there so that's why your answer will be option a and option c the concept is clear the concept is clear this same question they asked in 11th also 
and in 15th also both question paper they ask the same question is this clear to you i hope so i hope so yes okay so the next do this next one here the solution to silly window syndrome problem what is the solution solution what is the solution for the silly window syndrome problem answer answers are coming yes answer is option a and c that is the nagel's algorithm and the clark's algorithm now what is silly window syndrome problem silly window syndrome problem is that arise for the poor implementation of tcp the implementation is not good then the problem is coming it's degrade the tcp performance and make the data transmission extremely inefficient then it is called the silly syndrome so it caused by the sender window to shrink the silly value the window size shrinks the sings to such as extent that data being transmitted is smaller than the tcp header is smaller than the tcp header also so what are the cause cause is that sender window transmitting one byte of data repetitively or receiver window accepting one byte of data repetitively that is the main cause now how to overcome the cause for that first cause we can overcome using nagel's theorem nagel's theorem is doing that ki sender window send only the first byte on receiving the one byte data from the application and sender should buffer all the rest byte until the outstanding byte gets acknowledged when it will get the acknowledgement then only it will send it is storing it into the buffer till then in other words sender should wait for one rrt means round trip time what is called round trip time sender to receiver sender will send it after that sender will get acknowledgement this is called total round trip delay this much time sender will wait so that the problem will not occur it will store into the buffer that is called the nagel's algorithm and another one is the clark solution for the second case when receiver window accepting one bit data repetitively okay so clark solution is what receiver windows should not send a window up to one byte receiver window wait until it has decent amount of space available it should wait for that and receiver window then advertise that the window size are to the sender okay so this is called the nagel's theorem and that's why your answer will be here this is your answer ki yes what is the solution solution is nagel's and the clark theorem got it what is silly window and what is the ultimate thing is going on here now do this one this is the matching on cdma gsm umts and wifi cdma gsm umts and wifi do this
okay answers are coming here yes answer will be option 2 because here wifi with the wifi also you can do the answer it allows the user to connect to the net to internet other than device over the wireless channel that is wifi so definitely it is the answer yes now do this one rearrange the following sequence of the context of osi layer in the context of osi layer this year they ask the question in different way they did not ask like matching rather than that they ask in the sequence ki what will be the correct sequence of the osi layer okay answers are coming here answers are coming i can see yes so what is the first layer first layer is what it is going on date this is all the layer first of all we can do the transmission of the raw bit transmission of the raw bit in the form of frame frame is data link layer right frame means data link layer transmission of the raw bit over the channel that is the physical layer physical layer handle the user interface user interface is application layer control the control and monitoring of the subnet that is actually networking layer here it is transmission of the data through the connection oriented and the connection less using the data gram where the data gram is going on in which layer data gram is going on that is transport layer that is transport layer so that's why what is the correct one first one we are going for physical layer so physical layer is the first one physical layer that is option b after that we are coming to data link layer so data link layer is the option a next we are coming to the application next next layer is the network layer so we are going to transport layer network layer application layer yes yes ha uh, yes so that's why your answer will be this one we are getting this one b a d got it clear clear because this is the ultimately your layer right yes chalo clear correct correct am i wrong anywhere am i wrong anywhere or correct am i wrong or correct 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 chalo okay so this is the correct answer chalo now do this one do, do this one do this one atcp server <coughs> read it <coughs> then do it <coughs> okay answers are coming here so here it was the tcp server application is the program to listen on port p on the host s a tcp client is connected to the tcp server over the network consider while the tcp connection is active the server is crashed now the server is crashed and rebooted also assume that client does not use the tcp keep alive timer client did not use it so which of the following behavior is possible in this situation so what is that what is tcp keep alive timer doing t 
TCP keep alive timer feature provide the mechanism to identify the date connection when TCP connection on the routing device is idle for a long time and the device get the TCP keep alive packet to the peer and acknowledgement flag is turned on but they did not but it was not on right so e keep alive timer will prevent the long idle connections between the tcp and all but here the problem is that the tcp server application s will listen after the reboot so it will be true because the session still are there and that's why your answer will be this one if the client is wait to receive the packet it may wait indefinitely because there is no keep alive timer the connection lost or something it will be not able to understand that's why indefinitely it is working it is waiting statement 2 if the client send the packet after the server reboot it will receive the fin segment so here it will be false because the receiver will be not able to understand here after reboot here tcp it will be the after reboot so it will adopt the connection and release the out it will be released out so that's why that this one is false it is not possible after the server reboot it will resend it will receive the fin segment it cannot because it's already lost reboot means it will be newly fresh it is newly fresh so after reboot there is no chance to get again so that's why option statement 2 is false and statement 1 is true here clear clear now the next one is the crc it was a very easy question on crc direct question you can do it easily Okay, so here the answer will be this one definitely option 3 is the correct answer. All of you are doing correct because it is directly given that this is your code even also the remainder is also given. If the remainder is not given then ultimately we have to divide right but there is no need to divide all are given to you with the data just we will add the remainder and we will get the answer. This is simple one. Now here we are going to do the 15th March paper. So in the 15th March paper this is the first question. Do this quickly. So all the 11th March paper we did you can see how many questions was there. So many questions are there in one paper 2023. Just count the question how many questions we did. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 14 question was there only from networking you can see there was 14 question in 11th March paper so you can understand why networking is very very interest, interesting 14 question was there so 14 into 2 means 28 marks came from only from one unit only from one unit there was 28 marks so you can understand why this is very very important okay yes so here your answer is what will be the answer Okay, Deep, uh, Deepthi is giving, okay, do, but tell me what is the answer here? MAC address of the host whose IP address is known.
yes so most of you are giving opposite answer most of you are giving opposite answer because you are not reading question carefully which protocol acquire mac address of the host whose ip address is known so it is giving ip to mac not mac to ip read question very carefully it's not mac to ip it's ip to mac it's ip to mac ip is known to me and i am getting mac ip to mac means that is arp not rarp read question very carefully read question very carefully all of you are doing mistake which protocol used to acquire mac address of the host whose ip address is known which is known to me which is known to me ip is known to me so ip to mac is going on here that is arp okay yes yes that is here that is here ip is known to me so ip to mac is going on here understand the question very carefully ip to mac where it is going on ha huh? ip to mac where it is going on in I, in arp or rarp tell me it is in arp or rarp arp right yes or no you are doing mistake yes yes what do you think we are getting ip ip to mac is going on that is in arp right got it read question very carefully read question very carefully if you are not reading very question carefully then you will do the mistake theek hai got it read question very very carefully see that here same question was there same question we are not doing again this was the same question do this one do this one isf center window first window size is this and isn this is the next window size receiving packet is this one so value of isn The answers are coming here. That will be the seven. Will be the answer. Yes, option two is the correct answer. So now do this one. What is the minimum hamming distance for the block code wants to detect up to S error? Up to S error. What will be the answer here? Hamming distance. you all are habituated with d you all are habituated with actually d so d plus 1 that is the formula so with that just here they d change to s so that's why it will be s plus 1 same question you can see no this is the different question ah uh, this is a router question do this one it is a question on router router very much conceptual question quest very much quest conceptual question do this one router this is very much conceptual question read this one go back in another pre another comprehensive type question is there in 2022 
go back in from sliding window there are comprehension type question that question i will explain so this question will be also clear to you okay just wait complete this one after that i am going to the comprehension type question which they asked on 2022 from sliding window protocol there i will explain complete sliding window protocol all types of numericals are there so your full concept will be clear okay wait for that go back i will i will explain i told that go back in i will explain i am coming to that that question one comprehension type question is there wait for that so here uh, it is a routing question and this routing question is very very important a routing uh, vector here it is a routing vector you can see the question read it try to understand it distance vector routing here it is consider a computer network using the distance vector routing pro algorithm and its network layer the objective to find out the shortest cost path from router r to router p and q assume that r does not initially know the shortest routers shortest routes to p to q it's not they don't know initially assume that r has three neighbor router namely x y z draw it you need to draw okay if you are drawing then it will be clear to you now during one iteration r measures its distance as 3 to 5 from its neighbor x y z respectively router r getting routing vector from its neighbor that indicates 765 these are the two routing vector one vector p get another vector r get that is given here you need to draw it if you are drawing then you can get the correct answer now x y and z are routes p respectively the routing vector also indicates the distance router from q to this it is given 468 now it is asking which of the following assume true statement for new routing after that after this updation of the iteration after the updation of the iteration what will be the correct answer are you getting anything anyone anyone can tell me the answer anyone can tell me the answer how to solve it if you are trying then i will wait if you are trying then i will wait otherwise i will explain not getting okay answers are coming see that here i need to draw the picture how i will draw see that part by part think it here first of all there was router was given see that there was the find the shortest path from p q r that was given to you assume that here is the r r does not initially knows the shortest distance between p q so it is your q and it is p p and q and here is my r okay now during one iteration r measures the distance as 3 to 5 from its neighbor x y z so from x y and z it's got the distance as 3 to 5 okay see that from x y z i got the distance as 3 to 5 from this line i got it this is from this line i got it during the iteration r measured the distance as 3 to 5 x y z okay so i got that 3 to 5 from x y z now the next one router r 
getting routing vector from its neighbor that indicate the distance 7 6 and 5 from router x y z to router p so from p to x y z the distance is 7 6 5 so we did it from p from p here Yes, so from P, the distance to X, X, Y and Z, that is 5, uh, that is, that was given here, 5, X, Y, Z, we got is 3, 2, 5, 3, 2, 5 is done, X, Y, Z, 7, 6, 5, so 7, 6 and 5, these are the distance from X, Y, Z, okay. Last one, the routing distance from X, Y, Z is 4, 6, 8 from Q. So, from Q you got the distance 4, 6, 8. From the, from this description, from the story, ultimately you need to draw this image. And after drawing this image, the question will be very clear to you. You can see from the R, X, Y, Z distance was 3 to 5. From X, from P to X, distance was 7, 6, 5. From Q to X, Y, Z, distance was 4, 6, 8. So, I draw the picture. Picture is clear. Image is clear to everyone. Image is exactly clear. clear. I hope there is no doubt how to draw the image. How to draw the image, it's clear. Now, after drawing the image, just I need to find out the path. Uh, just like the disaster algorithm, shortest path algorithm. Just like the shortest path algorithm, we are trying to find the path between R to P. What is the shortest path between R to P? So, which one is the shortest path? I can go to R to X. So, if I am going to R to X, that is actually 3. Now, if I am coming to X to uh, R2, R2, X I got. Now X to P if I am going. X to P that is 7. So X to P is 7. Now finally I can go to uh, after that X to P then R to Y. Then R to Y I can go because I am trying to find out the distance between R to P. So R to Y then i am going r to y so you can get here that is i have written also no need to write here you can see this here i am getting the distance r to x then x to p then r to y to p then r to z to p all the shortest distance i am trying to find what is the shortest distance the shortest distance is 10 because See the shortest distance which one I should take. Shortest distance between I will draw the line only so that you can get the shortest distance. First shortest distance I am doing R to X, X to P. This is the shortest distance between R to P that is actually 10 another one is that next shortest distance will be what key i am trying to find out another distance what is the distance i am going to r to y to p here i was going r to x to p so if i am going r to y to p r to y then to p that is coming actually 8 if i am going another way that r to z to p that is coming what this one then this one that is coming also 10 so which one is minimum 8 is minimum right so that's why which one i should take 8 i will take so r to p shortest distance is 8 definitely that is i will take another distance i need to calculate r to q what is the shortest distance r to q if i am going then my shortest distance, different distance if I am counting, then my shortest distance which one? 
आई कैन गो टू आर देन एक्स देन क्यू सो आर टू एक्स देन क्यू दैट इज वट दैट इज सेवन एन अदर वे इज दैट आर देन वाई देन क्यू सो आर टू वाई देन क्यू दैट इज कमिंग वट एट एन अदर वे इज दैट आर देन जेड देन क्यू वट इज दैट आर देन जेड देन क्यू इज दिस वन दैट इज एट प्लस फाइव इज थर्टीन विच वन इज मिनिमम सेवन इज मिनिमम सो आई विल गो फॉर दिस वन दैट इज मिनिमम सो फॉर आर टू पी आई गेट द पाथ फ्रॉम आर टू वाई टू पी दैट इज गिविंग मी एट and from r to q i am getting the shortest path from r to x to q this is giving me 7 these are the shortest path right so that's why your answer will be here it was given the distance r to p will be stored as 10 no here the distance r to q is 7 yes just now we got r to q is 7 this is correct next one the next hop router of the packet r to p is y because when i did it r to y to p i am getting 8 that is my shortest distance so next hop is y yes that is correct only so that's why we will do this one is correct next hop is y the next hop of the router r to q is z no because r to q whenever i am doing the next hop is x so it is not the z so that's why this one is wrong so your answer is b and c is correct got it clear how to solve this question what are the shortest distance we are getting from here only i need to solve r to y to p that was my path and this path i was getting 8 and another path was r to x to q x to q that was 7 so after r next stop is y according to p after r next stop is x according to q so that's why your answer will be b and c a and d is wrong this is the routing distance vector routing through the distance vector routing this question came and i hope it's clear to everyone yes clear how to solve networking questions are like this only now do this another question all the trickiest question i am solving today do this another one this is another question do this one i will explain this one also do this one this one also i am going to explain you do this this one also i solve what will be the answer do it okay answers are coming yes option 4 is the correct answer mumtaz is telling option 4 is correct answer because mumtaz did it previously that's why she is able to say that now see that how to understand it how to understand and what to do here here you can see consider the routing tables are given to you routers are there so subnets are given these are the subnets one by one all the subnets are given to you subnet mask is also given to you the next hop is given to you now which of the following prefix cidr notation can collectively used to correctly aggregate all the subnet in the routing table which one we can use here the options are a b c d out of that option 1 is ab option 2 is ac option c is bc and bd now how to solve it 
your concentration is required other than that you cannot understand it i am going to explain you concentrate carefully you can understand just let me take some pages because some pages are required other than that i cannot explain okay so how to do it here this is the subnets are given okay the subnets are given to you and the from the subnet marks i need to get the net id how to get the net id we are getting the net id through the subnet with the mask if i am doing the and operation then we are getting the net id right so that is first try we will try with that ki how i can get the net id so first one is 1220164.0 and 255255255.252.0 so if i am doing the and operation here 12.20.164.0 and 255.255.252.252 was there Two fifty two point zero. Then actually, wherever two fifty five, that is, we can write down directly because here no need to do any problem because all are one means. If I am doing and operation, same digits are coming. Even also with zero with zero, same will come. Ultimately, I need to do this 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 part. I need to solve because this part I cannot directly solve. So for this part, I need to solve like that one sixty four and two fifty two. I need to do and operation. So for that, I need to change it in binary. After that only, I can do the and operation. So one two four eight sixteen thirty two sixty four and one twenty eight. So what will be one sixty four? One sixty four means this one is one twenty eight plus thirty two plus four. That is actually your one sixty four, right? One twenty eight plus thirty two. If I am taking plus four, so for uh, ha, huh, this is coming one sixty four. Yes, right. Now the one two fifty two. How to get the two fifty two? One 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 one. Only minus three. That is zero zero. That is actually your two fifty two. So if I am doing and operation, what is coming here? One zero one zero zero one zero zero. So ultimately, what is this number? This number is coming one. Sixty-four. After doing the and operation, I am getting this number one sixty-four, right? And slash what? This is coming one sixty-four. Slash how many bit? How many bit? How I can get from the subnet marks? This is all bit one means eight bit. This is also all bit one means eight bit. And another marks here. It is sixteen plus seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Because these all bits one means this is also your net bit. So means it is your slash twenty-two. That is ultimately coming. So ultimate number is coming twelve point twenty. Ultimately, after doing and operation, ultimate number is coming one sixty four slash twenty two. Why this slash twenty two? From the subnet mask only. How many bits are one? That is your net bit. That is the CIDR notation. How many bits are one? Means that is your CIDR notation. So here is sixteen. Here is eight plus eight sixteen, and from here one two three four five six. So sixteen plus six is twenty two. 
so that's why you are getting after and operation this one is this clear how to get the net id this is the way you get need to get the net id is this clear first part is clear same way i need to do the second part also for 12 20 170 and this one so this was your first one the second one whenever we are doing uh, that is your 170 this number was 12 20 170 12 20 170.0 with that 255 you then 255 255 then 254 then 0 okay so again i have to do the and operation So two fifty five means twelve, then twenty, then here it is zero. But here ultimately I need to do the and operation. So same way I need to do and operation one seventy and two fifty four. So one seventy means what will be your number? One seventy same way convert it one zero one zero one. Zero one zero. That is actually your one seventy. And two fifty four means one 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 zero. That is actually your two fifty four. Right here, this is your two fifty four. So if I am doing and operation here, this is coming but one zero one zero one zero one zero. Yes. So this is your two fifty five. So now see, what will be this number? What is this number? This is what? This is what one twenty eight plus thirty two plus eight plus two. So what is this number? Tell me. What is this number? What is this number? Tell me. Tell me what is this number? Is it one seventy? Yes, that is coming one seventy only. So this is one seventy itself. Slash. What will be slash? Slash. What it will be? Slash. Slash C I D R notation. Slash. Slash what? Slash what? Slash what? In C I D R notation, what should I write? What should I write in C I D R notation? How many bits? Twenty three. Because eight plus eight sixteen. And after that, all seven. So that's why it will be twenty three slash twenty three. That is coming here. Okay. Now the next one. Next one was what? Twelve point twenty point one sixty eight point zero two fifty five two fifty five point two fifty four point zero. So what do you think? If I am doing this one, I will get what? One twenty twelve point one twenty eight point one sixty eight point zero twelve point one twelve point twenty point one sixty eight twelve point twenty point one sixty eight point zero and with that two fifty five two fifty five two fifty four so two fifty five point two fifty five point Two fifty four point zero. If I am doing and operation, same thing I will get actually. Is it or not? I will get the same thing. Am I getting the same thing? Yes or no? I will get the same thing actually. Because two fifty four means again what it will be last digit will be zero. So last digit will be zero means I will get the same thing. So that's why. Here directly I can write. I will get here 
then slash what slash it is 23 slash I will get 23 here right so that is my third one directly I can do it the fourth one is what 12.20.166.0 so the fourth one 12.20.166 166.0 and your subnet was 255 255 254 so 255 255 254.0 if i am doing i will get the same thing actually here also i will get the same thing right because when i am doing 254 all one will be ultimately cancelled so i will get here the same thing that is also 12.20.166.0 slash 23 yes I am going to get this one right now see now the thing is that okay I got it all now write down and try to compare what are coming same here you get get 168 slash 23 here you get 166 slash 23. Here you get 164 slash 22. Here you get 170 slash 23. Right. So just write the number. One number was 164. Other than that all are same. See that 12.20. This is also 12.20. This is also 12.20. This is also 12.20. Ultimate problem is with this all. I need to make a common that was my target my target was that I need to get a common okay so I will write down this number and you can get it what is this actually going on first one was 164 slash 23 second one was 22 sorry it was 22 second one was 170 slash 23 third one was 168 slash 23 fourth one was 166 slash 23 right so if you are writing this number very carefully in binary write down the number very carefully in binary so the first one was coming 164 164 means it was coming 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 170 was coming 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 it was slash 23 uh, it was slash 22 and this was slash 23 168 was coming 101 0 1 0 0 that was slash 23 166 was coming 101 0 0 1 1 0 that was coming slash 23 now try to see can you get that which one are matching together can you get which one are matching together if you see that first one and the third one they are same or not first one and the third one are same or not check that first one and third one are actually same one zero one zero 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 one zero one zero after that something change right in first one 164 101000100 and third one 168 101 then 0 so if i am writing first one and third one together if i am writing first and third together that is 170 and 168 together 
वन ज़ीरो वन ज़ीरो वन ज़ीरो वन ज़ीरो स्लैश ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड दिस वॉज वन ज़ीरो वन ज़ीरो वन देन ज़ीरो 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 दैट वॉज स्लैश ट्वेंटी थ्री सो आई कैन टेक ए कॉमन दिस पार्ट इज कॉमन एक्चुअली टिल दिस पार्ट इट इज सेम राइट सो टिल दिस पार्ट इट इज सेम मीन्स आई कैन राइट दिस दिस इज वन सिक्सटी एट स्लैश ट्वेंटी टू बिकॉज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव बीट आई एम टेकिंग एंड बिफोर दैट द सिक्सटीन बीट वॉज दे आर सो सिक्सटीन प्लस फाइव आई कैन राइट वन सिक्सटी एट स्लैश ट्वेंटी टू एंड द दिस इज फर्स्ट वन एंड थर्ड वन नॉट वन सेवेंटी वन सेवेंटी एंड वन सिक्सटी एट वन सेकेंड वन एंड थर्ड वन राइट हाँ सेकेंड वन एंड थर्ड वन सॉरी दिस इज आई एम टेकिंग सेकेंड वन एंड थर्ड वन एंड फर्स्ट वन एंड फोर्थ वन वी कैन टेक सी दैट इन द सेकेंड वन एंड थर्ड वन वी आर टेकिंग टिल दिस पार्ट इज कॉमन टिल दिस पार्ट इट इज कॉमन ओके वन सेकेंड वन एंड थर्ड वन इज कॉमन नाउ आफ्टर दैट फर्स्ट वन एंड फोर्थ वन आई कैन टेक फर्स्ट वन एंड फोर्थ वन फर्स्ट वन वॉज वन सिक्सटी फोर फोर्थ वन वॉज वन सिक्सटी सिक्स सो इन द फर्स्ट वन आई कैन टेक वन जीरो वन जीरो जीरो वन जीरो जीरो स्लैश ट्वेंटी टू and the fourth one was 101001010 that is 23 so till this part i can take common here also till this part i can take common when i am taking common what it is this is 164 slash 22 so ultimately i got the number now before that to it was common before that you can see 1 12.20 that was common so means here i can write 12.20 after that the zero that was common right here also 12.20 after that the zero that was common now see you got your answer now see the option b was 12.20 this one You ultimately got your answer. What are the common part? That is twelve point twenty point sixty four point zero and twelve point twenty point one sixty eight point this. That is B and D. You are getting these are common, right? This is this is ultimately we should write like that. K point zero. Here we should write a point zero. Point zero slash, I am taking five bit. That's why twenty two. Here also point zero slash, I am taking five bit. That is twenty two. So ultimately, finally, you got your answer like this way. You need to solve like this. I hope it is clear. Anyone will not explain you, because these are the time taking topic, and any one is not going to explain you. with this much patience any one is not going to explain you with this much patience every one will leave this question because it will take some time and when someone is discussing then students are moving around they are thinking that i will not do those who are learning ultimately they will learn and those who go they will never learn because they don't want to learn and that's why only the problem ki teachers are also not not want to teach because they also know that ki when when they will try to discuss then students will be not there because everyone is trying to be in a comfort zone no one's don't want to come out from the comfort zone coming out from the comfort zone is very difficult it's very difficult because these are the question but you need to come out from your comfort zone this is not difficult question 
एनी वन कैन नॉट से कि इट इज डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन दिस आर इजी क्वेश्चन कॉन्सेप्टुअल क्वेश्चन इट्स एज आई एम डिस्कसिंग एज आई एम गिविंग यू द कम्प्लीट अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट्स वाई इट इज टेकिंग टाइम बट वेन यू अंडरस्टैंड इट देन यू कैन इजिली डू इट यू दिन टू मिनिट इट कैन बी डन विद इन टू मिनिट एज आई एम डिस्कसिंग दैट्स वाई इट्स टूक टाइम अदरवाइज नॉर्मली यू नो दैट हाउ टू चेंज द बाइनरी टू डेसीमल Uh, decimal to binary quickly you will solve and after that you will check that what are the common part and here what are the steps we did first step we have to do that ki what will be my net id by doing the ip address through the ip address if i am doing and operation quickly we can do the and operation and we can get it right yes amli no last one is also taking 5 bit One two three four five six twenty two five bit or six bit. Wait. Oh wait, some mistake. Any one six. Sixty four. Ah, you are correct. One sixty four means so one sixty four. It is correct or wrong? One sixty four. One sixty four and one sixty six. One two four eight sixteen thirty two sixty four one twenty eight. How to do the one sixty four one one twenty eight plus thirty two so one twenty eight plus thirty two means what this is zero and six zero plus four I have to do that's why I have to do four here means four means this one one zero zero right so this is ultimately one sixty four. is it or not yes this is ultimately 164 and 166 means 101001110 i think one bit i do, did mistake so i have to take this is 164 and this is 166 okay so is it or not yes 164 means 128 plus 32 plus 4 128 plus 32 means 160 plus 4 means 164 right so which part i can take common i can take common this part this part will be common so how many bit 1 2 3 4 5 so here it will be here i did mistake here i did mistake this one will be 1 uh, 164 is this one 101 zero 101 zero 00 One zero one zero zero, then one zero zero. One zero one zero zero, then one zero zero. So one two three four five six seven eight, and this is also one zero one zero zero, then one one zero. So I will take common this part. So one sixty four to not. Then to it will be not one sixty four. You are correct only. Then to you are correct. Then to I will go for one sixty last one also common na ha you are correct you are correct one sixty four then one sixty six it should be twenty two and twenty two 
so I am taking this one actually see that what I am doing here so the last one was coming 168 right when I am taking this common that the third one uh, when I am taking the second one and third one second one and third one it is coming 168 yes this is coming 160 show you watch Are I am doing mistake this is 6 byte bit only correct I am doing correct at the addition only we are doing mistake this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 bit only I have to take here we are writing at the time of writing only we are doing mistake. 22 means what? 16 plus 6 is 22 right? 16 plus 6 is 22 not 5. 16 plus 6 is 22 right? Yes 16 plus 5 not. 17 plus 5 not. 16 plus 6. 16 plus 6 bit is 22. So 16 plus 6 bit means I will take this 6 bit. This all the 6 bit I am going to take. And here also I will take this all 6 bit. Okay. Got it. 16 plus 6 is 22 right. 16 plus 5 is not 22. 16 plus 6 that is 22. So that's why these all the 6 bit are ultimately common right. So that's why it is the correct answer. Got it? Yes. This is ultimately 122.168.0. This is coming correct. Yes. 170. 170 means this one. 170 means what? It will be uh, 164. This will be 168. Then after that I have to take 2. So that is 170. Clear? Clear? Clear it is. So that's why it is 22 and this is 64. Okay. Done. No problem I hope. I hope no problem till now. Just count it. It is 170 or not. Yes this is 170 definitely. Right. Okay. How 16 plus 6. Now see how 16 plus 6. Yeah. How 16 plus 6. Because this bit was this are 16 right. 255, 255. All 16 bit are net bit. Here also 255 plus 255. All bit are net bit. From here only we got right. These are all bit are net bit. These are all bit are net bit. That's why this was fixed. 12.20. 12.20. This is also 12.20. These all are fixed. And here we did calculation. Ultimately the third byte we did the calculation. In the third byte, how many bits I am taking? One. In the third byte, how many bits we are taking? So, in the third byte, we are taking this much bit. In the third byte, we are taking this much bit. That's why this will be this one, 22. In the third byte, we are taking this much bit. That is this 22. Got it? Why it is? Actually, in the... 252 it was coming this much 22 bit for this one also this was coming like this all all this was coming but what are the common part we are taking that because the question was asking you ki the correctly subnet routing where collectively we can use the prefix which of the following prefix in the CIDR notation can be collectively used for aggregating all together for aggregating all together collectively we can use this one got it because i have to take the common part so that together i can use i have to take the common part and common part only we are solving like this way okay got it clear okay so all the difficult question i solved here uh, this question is the same question you can do just what question we solve this is the same question you can see here same question they asked and uh, this is another question 
quickly you can do it physical layer data link layer network layer transport layer i have to end the session quickly you can do this one all the difficult question i solve here all the difficult question i solve here do this one yes here is your answer and i am giving you the link for the sliding window because last year question i already solve i am giving you the link sliding window protocol you can watch now last year 2022 whatever the comprehension type question was there from this sliding window protocol this link i am giving you in the chat box just after this class you can watch this so that your sliding window protocol will be done okay yes this is your sliding window protocol theek hai so it was the directly rsa algorithm question the steps of rsa algorithm and after that the 2020 there was 22 there was the side sliding window protocol mainly that question is important so you can do that question i give you link for the sliding window protocol other than all the new types of question whatever they ask in 2023 that all question i solve here so you can i hope it's done your concept is done how the question is coming here mainly all the new types of question i solve here because it was taking time taking question now i am ending the session i cannot continue more my daughter already came i hope the session will be helpful to you i explain everything learn it and must do the sliding window protocol question just now i share with you you can watch the recording so that you that concept will be also cover and other than that there is total playlist on networking you can watch the playlist because other other topic whatever is required you can go for the important topics of computer science they are rsa algorithm cryptography separate separate topics are there important topics of computer science and the networking playlist in that playlist you can get that other question also whatever required mainly requirement is i will suggest rsa algorithm must watch rsa algorithm also i am giving you the link you can watch that RSA algorithm and the cryptography this is your RSA algorithm and cryptography i am giving you link this is also definitely must watch because questions are coming from here also mainly in networking these are the important topic okay so i am ending the class tomorrow we will meet again tomorrow let's see what we can do bye everyone bye